Hello, this is Elaine with Elaine's Creations. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this sweetest cherries card. All right, so for this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this card with the sweetest cherries bundle, which includes this stamp set and punch to punch out the cherries. Super, super cute. And I'm gonna be using some of the in colors, including the Tea Boutique um, cards and envelopes, and they come in all the different in colors. Or if you wanted to just use some of your in color paper, you could just use some of the uh, six by six in color paper that is in the catalog as well. And I've also used a piece of the uh, designer series paper for the top and then here's the card to put it on and then I have used a uh, stitched rectangle die for my frame so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, adhere all of this on starting with the plaid I love this plaid it's so pretty I hate to cover it up but the polka dots are super cool too Right, now we're gonna emboss sweet and so I'm just gonna use my embossing buddy to make sure that the area is prepared I also have my white embossing powder ready and my Versamark ink and I'm going to ink up the stamp I like it to be super juicy and then I'm gonna move this over a little bit this way. So that edge will not interfere. And we're gonna get lots of powder on here. So here's a fun little tip and trick if you want to make your embossing look solid. Use a chalk marker to color in some of the blank spaces and that will make your embossing look totally filled in. Now we're gonna stamp birthday wishes below the sweet and we're just gonna do it in the sweet sorbet right on top hopefully that's mostly straight now we're gonna add the frame on top I've used mini dimensionals all around the edges and now we get to stamp some of the cherries so we're gonna use the sweet sorbet again and we're just gonna get our cherry really really nice and inked up and we're gonna stamp the cherry towards the top And then there's another cherry with a bite taken out of it. Super cute. So I'm gonna stamp that over here. And these cherries can be punched out with the Cherry Builder Punch. 
So I'm just going to line those up and punch those out. And then what's super cute about the one where the bite is punched out is you can reinsert it into the punch and then use the leaf to punch out the bite. Now I'm gonna stamp the stems in soft suede. And I'm just gonna use this thin strip of paper so that I can just put the stems at each end and that will make it easy to slide into the punch and stamp. So I'll stamp one at both ends. And this way I can just slide it into the top of the punch here and line it up. gonna stamp a leaf now I'm gonna stamp a leaf in parakeet party And then I can punch that out as well. All right, and so now we can put these on dimensionals and then glue these. So we'll use the regular dimensionals for the cherries and a mini dimensional for the leaf. And then we'll use a little bit of liquid glue. And so now we will add our cherries. So we've got this yummy cherry here and this yummy cherry taking a bite out of. And then I'm gonna grab my tweezers and I'm gonna grab this one and go like that. And then I'll grab one and then we'll add our leaf and there we have our sweet cherries card so I'm offering this as part of a free card kit when you purchase either the full basket bundle which includes this basket or the sweetest cherries bundle. So here's another one with the cheerful basket. So just place your order and use my current host code. You can also place a $40 order and email me and let me know that you would like this card kit and I will send it right out to you. Thank you so much for watching this video tutorial using the sweetest cherries bundle. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like my video and leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so that you know every time I go live. Thanks so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.